Hello, today I want to discuss a little bit of the speed error that is supposed, supposedly induced in the speedometers of the of the cars. Okay, there's been always this discussion if the the mistake in the or the error between the readings of the speedometer and a precise GPS are because uh, there is some error measurement uh, measurement error. Uh, measuring the dia diameter of the wheels and then making the calculation for the speedometer or if this is induced by the builder of the car or something like that, okay? Uh, as of right now, I have here four different gadgets, technically four different gadgets, measurement, uh, making a measurement of two different sources. Uh, I mean, I have, uh, I have right now the this dash cam which has its own GPS reading. Okay, I have this radio gadget which has its own GPS speed uh, reporting. I have OBD2 here in the same gadget connected via Bluetooth. Uh, OBD2 speed, which is the speed of the vehicle. Uh, itself, it, it's the that's, that's speed that the computer of the vehicle is reporting, and I have here the speedometer. Okay, so I say uh, that I have two different sources because I have GPS in the dash cam and in the radio, and I have the computer of the car itself in the in the US in the radio gadget. Okay, and in the speedometer. So. Right now, as you can see, I'm setting up the the cruise control to 50 kilometers per hour. Okay, let's hope it settles a little bit. And as you can see, the OBD2 uh, computer is reporting 45 kilometers per hour, dead on. And that happens not only at 50 kilometers per hour, but also at 80 kilometers kilometers per hour at 100 kilometers per hour, per hour it doesn't matter the speed that i set up in the in the cruise control i always have dead on five kilometers per hour less than than the ovd2 uh, report so basically i can say that in the toyota corolla cross which is this one that i'm driving right now the speed uh, deviation in the speedometer is induced in fact by the builder itself okay it's not a measurement error i can call a measurement error in the uh, difference between the gps speed and the obd2 speed which is uh, you can see a little bit of jumping back and forth okay but uh, uh, over the time i can see that the, in average it, it is about uh, one and a half kilometers per hour more in the GPS than in the OBD2 uh, tool. So basically I can say that that's the error in the measurement of the tires, on the, on the measurement of the diameter of the tires, okay? As you know, the computer uses the diameter, the ideal di diameter of the wheel to make the calculation, how many rotations does this diameter does, and then it inputs into a formula, and then it gives you the speed. But I can say, uh, in in uh, sorry for the fuel low, <laughs> uh, I can say uh, very 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 confidently that the speedometer has some tampering in it from the factory and it is five kilometers less now that's interesting because uh don't ask me why i, I don't live in the united states but I've, I've been seeing these videos of uh police or cops stopping people for different things and the argument behind is is very well it is very interesting for me the common law uh laws and, and how they 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 are they are presented, etc. I I've seen these these videos, and in some of those videos, I've seen 
that uh, the argument of the, 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 the for race profiling someone and have an excuse to stop this this person is uh, sometimes in a few of those videos I've seen that sometimes it is that uh, the cop alleges or argues that the that the person that, it, that they are detaining that, that they are stopping uh, for some reason is that uh, they were going uh, at about five or six or seven kilometers uh, lower than the speed limit okay they, of course they say it in miles but it's around five to ten kilometers uh, less than the speed limit and their their argument uh, to stop those kind of people of course is race profiling or some stupid shit they are going on but uh, the argument is that, uh, that they give is that probably that person is under the influence of, of something is they are not if they are not maintaining uh, that on the speed limit of the road and you can say of course that yeah i wasn't going to the speed limit because the builder or the brand of my specific car did decide to induce some error in the speedometer okay some 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 error um and and the fun fact here is that they are stopping the person because they are going lower than the speed limit okay um for for me that's stupid kind of stupid if you are not going like uh, 20% like I don't know uh, 50% lower than the speed limit but five kilometers per hour shouldn't be an argument there but they still keep keep that argument going of course you can see that is this is a pretextual stop um, well Sarah but of course uh, you right now can tell the, the police of course you MF fucker <clears throat> I wasn't going to the speed limit because uh, my brand decided to induce five kilometers less or more some I, I don't know if this happens in all brands in the same amount or if they induce uh, bigger uh, errors in in all of this uh, in other speedometers but that's 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 the situation here if if I put my cruise control to 50 kilometers it is going to take the speed of the dashboard instead of the speed of the OBD2 um, if you encounter if you are in the middle of a pretextual stop you can tell the cop go to hell because yes uh, uh, it's I am going lower than the speed limit because of this okay so well the the video is kind of long for the little content I'm giving away but I just wanted to, to discuss this a little bit uh, see you <laughs>